Welcome to One and All. Today we see the clip gluconeogenesis. It is a continuation of glycolysis. The gluconeogenesis means the formation of new sugar. I go as biologist we are well known that each and every cell functioning the cell needs the energy that energy is only from the glucose molecule what we ingested in our stomach but in between the meals and also during the fasting our cells are lacks energy during that time the energy is converted from non carbohydrate precursors that non carbohydrate precursor is a three carbon four carbon compound such as lactate or pyruvate is converted into a glucose that process is called gluconeogenesis so the gluconeogenesis means the conversion of glucose or conversion of a new sugar or conversion of a glucose from non carbohydrate precursors it is the reversal of glycolysis but the glycolysis and the gluconeogenesis is not the same as reversal process but the seven of ten glycolysis process are reversal here but the three process are non reversal one the three process are irreversible let me see what are the irreversible process the first one is the pyruvate molecule the pyruvate is converted into phosphoenol pyruvate the phosphoenol pyruvate is a kai energy or kai phosphate molecule the conversion of pyruvate into phosphoenol pyruvate is a first bypass reaction bypass reaction is the whole reaction is bypassed from the glycolysis let me see but one thing you, you remember for this gluconeogenesis both cell component is important for example the mitochondrial enzyme and also cytoplasmic enzyme both are involved in the this gluconeogenesis so the pyruvate molecule which present in the cytosol the pyruvate is converted from the glycolysis or the other non carbohydrate molecule such as lactate or alanine that are converted into a pyruvate the converted pyruvate molecules are now enter into mitochondria in mitochondria the first step the first step is if pyruvate molecule enter into mitochondria in mitochondria the pyruvate converted into oxaloacetate by the in, the mitochondrial enzyme that is pyruvate carboxylase the pyruvate carboxylase enzyme converts the pyruvate into oxaloacetate there one atp molecule is also forms a ADP that means the phosphorylation process is occurring here one carbon dioxide molecule is also added to pyruvate molecule to form the oxaloacetate then the mitochondrial malate degectogenase this is the mitochondrial malate degectogenase this mitochondrial malate degectogenase convert the oxaloacetate into malate why the oxaloacetate is converted into malate here that means the mitochondria does not contains a proper transposon to transfer the oxaloacetate to the cytosol so that the oxaloacetate is should converted into malate then the malate is transferred to cytosol you see the mitochondrial malate degectogenase is converted into oxaloacetate into malate k1 nad h is converted into is reduced sorry it is oxidized into nad plus then the malate is formed now this malate is transported to the cytosol in cytosol the cytoplasmic malate degectogenase enzyme the cytoplasmic malate degectogenase enzyme convert malate into oxaloacetate at the time of conversion the nad plus the nad plus is reduced to nad nad h you see the nadh should the balance in cytosol the nadh balance in cytosol should be maintained so that this malate at the time of malate converted into oxaloacetic acid one nadh plus molecule is reduced to form nadh and also produce a nitrogen ion after that this oxaloacetate is decarboxylase by the that means phosphoenol pyruvate the phosphoenol pyruvate decarboxylase decarboxy kinase 
I hope you are well known there. Wherever the kinase enzyme is, one phosphate molecule is added or removal. Here, one phosphate molecule is added. But here, at the time of phosphate molecule added, ATP molecule is not directly involved. Instead of ATP molecule, the guanosine type phosphate, GTP molecule is involved here. The GTP molecule, the guanosine type phosphate, becomes a guanosine type phosphate. One phosphate molecule is added. At the same time, the carbon dioxide molecule is removed. So, decarboxylation and also phosphorylation process is involved here. Finally, one molecule of polyway is converted into one molecule of phosphoenol polyway. Or, if two molecules are involved, if two molecules of phosphoenol polyway is formed. It is a first bypass reaction. The first bypass reaction means if the polyway is a precursor, if polyway is a precursor, it converted into this form. Instead of polyway, if alanine is a precursor, the alanine directly converted into polyway in a cytoplasm itself by the symbol demethionization. The methane compound is removed from the alanine and the alanine becomes a polyway, then polyway involved in this flow is the same process. But the, if lactate is a precursor, if lactate is a precursor, what will happen? If lactate is a precursor, what will happen? Lactate means during the anaerobic carboxylation or anaerobic fermentation, our cell convert the polyvate or glycogen into a lactate by the enzyme lactate dehydrogenase. With the help of this lactate dehydrogenase, the NAD plus is reduced to NADH in cytoplasm itself. So, this lactate is converted into polyvate in cytoplasm itself. Then the polyvate, the converted polyvate in cytoplasm is directly transferred to the mitochondria. In mitochondria, the same mitochondrial enzyme, the polyvate decarboxylase is involved and forms here oxaloacetate. Then the oxaloacetate is directly converted to phosphoenol polyvate. The phosphoenol polyvate in the mitochondria itself with the help of the enzyme mitochondrial phosphoenol polyvate decarboxylase. Okay, why here the oxaloacetic acid directly converted in phosphoenol polyvate in mitochondria itself? In another step, if polyvate is a precursor, then the oxaloacetic acid converted into malate and the malate transferred to the cytoplasm. In cytoplasm, the malate again converted into oxaloacetate and it transferred to the phosphoenol polyvate. Why means in cytoplasm, generally in cytoplasm, NAD plus. The NADH and the NAD plus, it is Zadax couple. NAD plus and the NADH is a Zadax couple. Their concentration, the concentration of this Zadax couple should be maintained in the cytoplasm because this concentration helps to regulate the process. Whether the polyvate is directly entered into the citric acid cycle or the glucose molecule is converted into a for that, this Redox couple is very, very important so that this molecule is maintained in cytoplasm itself for maintaining this NAD plus and the NADH. The polyvate, the actual is converted into malate in the gym dispersers. If lactate is a precursor, the, or the conversion of lactate into polyvate, there itself the NAD plus is reduced into NADH. So, here need not to convert the actual acetic acid into malate. So, the, the actual acetic acid directly converted into phosphoenol polyvate in mitochondria itself with the help of enzyme mitochondrial phosphoenol polyvate decarboxylase. One thing you may be the enzyme phosphoenol polyvate decarboxylase and also the enzyme mitochondrial the cytoplasmic phosphoenol phosphoenol polyvate decarboxylase. Okay, the cytoplasmic phosphoenol polyvate decarboxylase and the mitochondrial phosphoenol decarboxylase. Both the enzymes are regulated by the same genes. Okay, both enzymes are regulated by the same genes, but it is controlled by DNA. DNA of nucleus, the nucleus DNA controls these both enzymes where these enzymes are synthesized and convert the oxaloacetic acid into Passport in our polyvalent. This is the first bypass plus.
Bayvat reaction. Then, then it is a second Bayvat reaction. Second Bayvat reaction means the conversion of fructose 1,6 bisphosphate into fructose 6-phosphate. You see, fructose 1,6 bisphosphate into fructose 6-phosphate because uh, at the time of doing the glycolysis, the fructose 6-phosphate is converted into fructose 1,6 bisphosphate with the help of an enzyme phosphofructokinase. The phosphofructose kinase are irreversible. That enzymes are irreversible in normal cellular condition. So then, the another one enzyme, the alkanase enzyme is functioning here. That enzyme is called fructose 1,6 bisphosphatase. Here, not phosphorylation process is involved, but one phosphate molecule is removed. Here, simply the Dephosphorylation and the chitolysis process. Chitolysis means the adding of water molecule. And dephosphorylation means the removal of phosphate molecule. Here, inorganic phosphate is removed, not phosphorylation, not the conversion of ATP into ADP or some other phosphate which molecule. Mere the transfer of inorganic phosphate to the cytoplasm and also the adding of water molecule. The adding of water molecule is directly added to the first carbon atom. The first carbon atom of a fructose, so the first carbon atom is received the carb the chitogen ion which is present in the carbon in the water molecule and the removed phosphate is present in the, the, the first carbon atom. So the fructose 6 phosphate became the fructose 1 6 bisphosphate becomes a fructose 6 phosphate. Okay, it is a second bypass reaction. Like that, the same the third bypass reaction. The third bypass reaction means the conversion of Glucose 6-phosphate, the conversion of glucose 6-phosphate into glucose 6-phosphate into glucose. Normally, in glycolysis, the glucose is converted into glucose 6-phosphate with the help of an enzyme kexokinase. The kexokinase enzyme also is reversible. Not only the kexokinase, the enzymes, the kinase enzymes are irreversible. So, the kinase enzyme involved reactions are irreversible in the glycogenesis. Here, the enzyme is called glucose 6 phosphatase. Involved here, the same reaction the addition of water molecule, the chitolysis, the addition of water molecule, and the removal of inorganic phosphate to the cytoplasm. So, the glucose 6 phosphate is converted into a glucose. The remaining steps are the same as in glycolysis. So, the, gl the gluconeogenesis means the conversion of new sugar with non carbohydrate precursor. Here, one thing reminded the glucose 6 phosphatase, these enzymes are not present in our brain and our muscle cells. So, the gluconeogenesis are not occurred in brain and the muscle cells. The brain and the muscle cells needs their glucose in non meal time or during the fasting. The converted glucose molecules are occurred in the liver. So, the lactate, the lactate formed in anaerobic aspiration or anaerobic fermentation or the polyurate molecule which synthesis in the glycol, the glycol acid that are transported to our liver. In liver itself, it converted into a glucose, then the glucose enter into our blood, then forms a blood glucose. Finally, it enters into our brain and the muscle cells. Okay. I hope you understood the glyconeogenesis very well. Do you have any doubt? You feel free. Chat in the comment box. Okay. Let me see in the next class. Thank you.